This is definitely one of my favorite backyard builds yet. It had just an open deck design, a real simple open channel still bolted together with a standard deck. The challenge was hiding a slope between the wood slats when you're standing on top and not being able to see it when you're standing on the ground. We've got our actual deck system made of Brazilian Ipe wood, very weather capable out here with the extreme sun and weather that we get in Arizona. Yeah, the original design actually came from the client. They had been inspired by an image they saw, I believe, on Instagram or something. And it was a similar footprint, about eight foot tall, except the stairs on that one went straight up from the back. And it had just an open deck design, just like a, a real simple open channel still bolted together with a standard deck. That was the original inspiration. <laughs> Okay, so a couple things I wanted to talk about that was unique about this build. Looks like a pretty basic structure, but one of the cool things that we did was the client wanted to be able to have a dried in situation. They want to be able to have picnics under here, not have the water that's going to be coming up the steps, seeping through and leaking down here. So you can enjoy the shade and not have that happen. They also obviously wanted this to be built of steel to be able to last forever, but they needed it to not be hot on the feet. Obviously out here in Arizona, that's kind of a problem. So what we did was we've got uh, Brazilian Ipe wood that's gonna go on top of the steps. So the steps, as you'll see, we're gonna be bringing them here. Uh, we're working on getting these off the trailer right now. These are designed to be almost floating like. They're gonna land right here on these pavers and um, they're gonna be covered and they're gonna have planks that are gonna be Ipe wood planks that are gonna go up to this landing. And the floor or the deck of this is actually slightly sloped. So if you can see where it starts off over here high and every purlin drops down and then ends up with a little two inch gap right here. Now what's happening is we're gonna put a wood deck on this. On top of that deck, we're putting a sheet metal tray that'll actually be bent and in right into this area and fall into here. So this is where the water's gonna fall, right here against this back wall. And it'll be a waterproofed deck or floor underneath a wood slat deck that'll go on top. So your feet remain cool as the water comes in, whether it's rain or just the traffic water from the pool coming up, all of that will stay dry. And from the top, you won't see it. From the sides, looking down here, you don't see anything slanted because our perimeter beam hides it all. So kind of a unique feature with this structure. All right, here we go, guys. Yeah, the challenge was hiding a slope between the wood slats when you're standing on top and not being able to see it when you're standing on the ground. So we did that by putting a 10 inch perimeter beam around and then our joist system is actually four by that just has regular decking on it that was painted black with to match everything else from the bottom. On top of that, we've got black sheet metal layered up underneath. And then on top of that, we've got our actual free floating deck system made of Brazilian Ipe wood, which is five times harder than oak. Very resilient, very uh, weather capable out here with the extreme sun and weather that we get in Arizona. So that's what's keeping the feet comfortable and level. The water goes right through that, slides right out to the back. The stairs we left floating, kind of see-through. We didn't want to block a bunch of visibility. We were trying to make a very, very strong structure that did not look clunky and uh, like it didn't belong there. So we were trying to design it in a way that we could see through the steps, through as much of it as possible, and just kind of keep the whole thing feeling like it's a lot lighter than it actually is.
This is definitely one of my favorite backyard builds yet. Hats off to this family. This is gonna provide a lot of healthy fun for many, many years to come. This is one tough structure and I'm really proud to be part of it. It was a lot of fun to design, a lot of fun to build and uh, congratulations guys. Congratulations to the team and everybody who was involved here.